So as good as I find these Cthulhu micro spikes to be, uh, I wanted to see if there were some alternatives. And uh, what I thought I would do is just show you some of the things that I've considered and some that I think are actually pretty reasonable alternatives. First off, let me just go back in history a little bit. Uh, I mentioned in previous videos that I used to be a long distance runner. And I ran all year round, I ran through the snowstorms, through the ice storms and everything else. And I learned pretty quickly that I needed traction much beyond what the running shoes would provide. And the, the thing that was uh, being touted as the best of the day was a thing called the Yak Tracks. So I bought a pair of the Yak Tracks and I'm going to show you those in one second. And uh, you know, they very effective for certain conditions. And what I mean by that is, well, let me show you the Yak Tracks. So it's a, a stainless steel spring coil wrapped around some more elastic polymer and the whole contraption would wrap around the foot. Now I'm not going to put them on my boots because these were designed and fit for my running shoes but you can see that basically how they would go and the strap, that strap that you see would go over the forefoot. Honestly I didn't use the strap very often. I put the strap back on it just for the demonstration pur purposes. Uh, very compact, fold down very small. You could toss them in your pocket I suppose and then put them on when you felt the need to. Um, I would, probably wouldn't have done that. I put them on when the conditions were icy and they worked great on glare rice. Problem is, is they didn't work so well on the snow. It's not that they didn't provide traction, it's that they probably provided too much traction. And snow would bunch up underneath these things and pretty soon I was running on top of a three or four inch snowball. So very awkward, very uncomfortable, a little dangerous because then the snow would slip on the ice. So while these were effective for grabbing onto ice, they weren't good for running through the snow. And that seems to be one of the things that Cthulhu took into consideration when they built the micro spikes, is that they didn't want to have that snowballing effect. Well, something else that's common uh, these days is a spike pad that you can wear. And I suspect these are designed more for going over your dress shoes or your city shoes so that they'll allow you to walk around the city with a little bit of sense of comfort, maybe take the dog for a walk, go to the office, that type of thing. And there's all kinds of different models of these things. And uh, these, by the way, these little yellow spikes are replaceable uh, if you lose them or I guess if you wore it out. And they're hard carbon steel and uh, they're working pretty good. Um, that's an alternative I wanted to show you. So I was aware of the Cthulhu micro spikes for a couple of years. I just didn't want to put the $80 out for them. So I went on eBay and looked and found something that looked an awful lot like the Cthulhu's and on speculation I bought them. And what they are is a copy of the first generation of Cthulhu's. The ones I have now are just been released and they're considered a second generation of the Cthulhu micro spikes. But these are a copy of the first generation. And I say a copy, they're not a direct clone. They're close, but they're not quite the same thing. The design is pretty much identical. It has the same number of small plates on the bottom. It has an elastic polymer which would wrap up over your shoe. And when I compare the two of them, I could see there was a difference. The spikes are not quite as long as they are on the Cthulhu's. The chain doesn't seem to be quite the quality. I'd be a little concerned about the links coming apart. Uh, the polymer seems to be pretty good. It is reinforced pretty much in the same places the Cthulhu's are. And I bought these for a fraction of the cost. I think I paid $8 a pair for them. Problem is, they don't fit my shoes. You know, they, they, were, saw, they were said to be an extra large but they're not. They're very small. Uh, they might go over, well in fact what I'm keeping them for is going to keep them for my wife when we go hiking or maybe one of my daughters would like to have them. But uh, they uh, well, look like they'd be functional and work. How long? I can't tell. I suspect they may not last as long as the Cthulhu's. Probably won't last as long as the Cthulhu's. But functionally when you get them on I'm sure that they will function very similar to the Cthulhu's for as long as they last. So these I'll keep for my wife to use or one of my daughters to use. So I'll probably end up giving it to one of my daughters. She's very active in hiking until she can afford to buy her own Cthulhu spikes. But that's an alternative as well. But you know, back in my running days, there was another alternative for people. I didn't try it because I had the yak tracks and, but I resurrected the idea just recently and I'm going to have to take one of my boots off to show you what it is but it is something that is not only cost effective but surprisingly effective on the ice as well. So just give me a second to take my boot off and I'll show you what it is. Alright, so back in the running day somebody had come up with a clever idea and it was in one of the running magazines to take small sheet metal screws and screw them into the bottom of the running shoe. And then the sheet metal screw would act like a stud, like you would on studded tires that you could run over the ice with. And, you know, it, it, it caught on in popularity, not for me, because I did have the Yak Tracks. But I see now that in the running stores or online, you can buy a 
pro pro well, I don't know, a professional, maybe an improved version of this, made of hardened carbon steel, which will, will not wear out as much. But they're, they're running $25, $30 for a set of them. So what I did is I went out to Home Depot, went into the hardware section, found some machine screws, or sheet metal screws, excuse me, and I bought a package of them for $2.79 Canadian, I believe it was. And what you can see, these are a number 10, 3 8 inch machine screw. They have a flat slotted screwdriver or a hex head on it, providing you the choice of either to use a screwdriver, uh, you could use a drill if you wanted to with a with a hex head adapter. I just used a little hand tool that had a hex head adapter on it. They went in extremely easy. I had seen videos where people were talking about pre-drilling the bottom of your shoe to put them in. It wasn't necessary. Three-eighths of an inch. I wouldn't want to use anything any longer. A lot of the runners like to use shorter ones, an eighth of an inch, or excuse me, a quarter inch long. I couldn't find quarter inch long ones in the, in the store. The three-eighths is the shortest I could find. But uh, for hiking boots, I think three-eighths is probably just fine. The placement, I have 10 on my boot and I placed them so that they were in one of the lugs on the outside edge. That way I was pretty much assured that I wasn't going to go into any center portion of the insole. That's one of the concerns with running shoes is that you might puncture at either a, a fluid bladder or an air bladder in a running shoe so you want to make sure that you have used the shortest spike possible. But for hiking shoes with a good tread to start with, uh, I think you can get by just place them on the tread and they, you know, you probably see right here, three eighths of an inch is not going to go in so far that it's going to chance running into anything that's in the center of the shoe or provide leaks or anything like that. Package of 20. $2.79. These are actually surprisingly effective and as you'll see of me running across the ice here on the lake in a few minutes time. How long will they stay in the boot? I don't know. Will they wear out? Mike likely. I mean they're, they're a sheet metal screw. They're not, uh, they're not a hardened carbon steel or anything like that. But for $2.79 I can carry my little hand tool with me and replace them as I lose them. I could have put more in the boot but uh, 20 allowed me a 10 per boot and that's uh, what I did. So far these are surprisingly effective. Not as good as the Cthulhu's. I've just been gathering some wood for my fire here and uh, what I'm finding is the Cthulhu's will allow me to go into places that I would find difficult otherwise and with a lot more confidence. Climbing over logs, going up some uh, steep slopes and icy slopes. Uh, you know a sense of comfort that you put your foot into some snow is it going to be slippery underneath and the Cthulhu micro spikes are providing me that sense of comfort that uh, I won't fall and injure myself. As I said before, it doesn't replace common sense going through the woods, but it does give you a sense of confidence and allow me to go into places that I might not have chanced going into otherwise. You know, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't also mention that there's nothing wrong with bringing your snowshoes out. We don't have the snow to justify bringing snowshoes out right now. But if I wanted to move around on this lake, my snowshoes, I've got a pair of Atlas uh, snowshoes, they have the metal crampon on the bottom as well. So if uh, there was a lot of snow, and but icy, you know, that combination of snow and ice, snowshoe is a reasonable alternative. Traditional show sh snowshoes, I understand, can be refitted with, a, with a, uh, a harness that has the crampons, if you prefer the traditional. But for cost effectiveness right now, I'm recommending that you might want to look at using the machine screws. But if you want to upgrade and have the assurance of having a really high quality product, at least from my initial, um, my initial view of these things, the Cthulhu micro spikes I don't think can be beat.
it right here at the bottom of the hill. So just to sum, sum up my experience today, uh, I found that the machine screws did an excellent job and at very cost affordable. Um, at the same time, those Cthulhu micro spikes, I can't say enough good things about them. They certainly provided me the traction on the ice, the sense of confidence. You know, it was a little different wearing them for the first couple of moments until you got used to them because you can feel the spikes on your feet and they do seem to lift you off the earth a little bit. They're not uncomfortable, you don't feel them through the shoe. It's just a sense of being on top of these things. I thought at first maybe I might tip a little bit to the side or you know running up, up the side of the slope that it might you know cause the spikes to slide over around on the boots but they stayed very stable, stayed on the boot. The snow it ran through, it did not stick to the bottom of them, they didn't snowball up like the Yak tracks would have. Uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with these. Now this is not, again not a review. I haven't had them long enough to say how durable they will be and what they'll be like in the really really cold weather but uh, I will I will continue to use them and uh, if I find anything other than what I've told you so far I certainly report this back to you. But if you're looking at an alternative that is cost effective not as uh, all out if you will as the Cthulhu micro spikes then the machine screws are still very effective. One word of caution don't wear them around the house. They will chew up your floors very quickly. So, yeah. Okay, folks, if this is a video that you found helpful to you, that you've enjoyed watching, and I hope it has been, then I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you found the video helpful. Don't forget to hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Share it with your friends. Leave comments below. I know that there are other brands of, of micro spikes on the market. Yaktrax makes another version that has spikes on it and I know I think it's Hillsound makes one as well. If you have experience with those and you can compare them against the Catulas, I would love to hear your comments or any other alternatives to these, uh, these types of traction devices. They really do add to your enjoyment outside as well as your safety. So once again subscribe, like, share, and until next time get out and explore. Take that path less traveled, it'll make all the difference. Bye for now.